since the mic is on now. Are we gonna be able to get through this Q&A or are we all too emotional? <laughs> How about that film? Round of applause. <laughs> How many of you, was this the first time you saw the film? All right, many, okay. So uh, to try to make it easier on our interpreter, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be succinct with my questions. And if you listen to film spotting, you know that's a problem for me. So uh, I'm gonna give it my best effort and hopefully you can as well when we get to your questions here in just a little bit. I wanted to start um, just reflecting on the film. When you think back to making Shoplifters, what do you remember most? <clears throat> Any memories of the process, or just when you when you think back, what what's most vivid in your mind? あの、キリンさんとの最後の仕事なので、今今まあ振り返ってちょっと見ると、それがやっぱり一番自分に大きい。ですね。彼女との最後の仕事だったなっていうことが今あのいろいろ思い返しますやっぱり彼女から聞いた言葉とか現場でも過ごした時間。So <笑> this was the last uh, work that I got to do with uh, Kiki Kirin as an actress. Um, and so I definitely look back to you know how she was on set, kind of the things that she said. Uh, on, uh, on she had been battling cancer for a while. She has that lovely scene on the beach where she says thank you to her family. Did you think of this film at all as a thank you to her? まだあの夏の撮影しながら編集してたんですけどもそれでえっと分かってうんそこから後半のシーンの構成とか組み立てをこう変えてたもんですからえすごく大きなあの一言になりましたそれであのそういうふうにつぶやくよっていうことは事前にもちろん言わ
完成してなかったのででも取り始めちゃったんですけどそのタイトルと全体の物語の流れからこれは声に出さない声に出して呼んでというタイトルから声に出さない言葉というのが大事になる映画なんだなっていうのは彼女らの解釈をして現場に呼んでるんですねそれであのじ、まあ、映画の後半で今その最後にバスで施設に帰っていく翔太があのパパって言いますけどあれも。ずっと呼んでほしいけど呼ばなかった声に出さなかった言葉だしそういうのが至るところにあるんですけど彼女は自分のそれがそういう一言があるとするとあそこだっていうふうに自分でこう見極めてセリフにしてるっていうあの本当にすごい役者さんだなと思いました改めてちょっと細かい話ですけど。So shoplifters but that was actually wasn't Plan to be called shoplifters. It was actually called Koini Nashte Yonde, which translates to、um, read it out loud.、Um, but it's interesting because actually, you know, a lot of the. It, it's not. It's a lot about words left unspoken. You know, like、um, even when Shota says dad at the very end in the bus, that's something that, you know. I'm sure the dad character wanted him to say, but he never did get to say that.、Um, and so, even、um, the, the thank you scene with Kiki, she just,、uh, she's a great actress for you know, kind of、um, improvising that because there w a s words that weren't supposed to be said, but it's kind of came out. Yuri and Shota are two very complex characters. How did you go about casting the two young actors to play them? <laughs> and you just, it was magical. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 特に下の女の子は非常に演出,演出が難しいというかやりたくないあの母親に怒られるシーンとかは一度リハーサルをやったらもうあのシーンはやりたくないって言い始めて<笑><笑>なんでさっき撮ってくれなかったのと怒られて<笑>それで、えー、と半日撮影せずにちょっとあのお母さんと遊びに行ってもらってで戻ってきてリセットして。やり直すみたいなことが結構あったんですけどあのー、でも結果的に映ってるものは本当に素晴らしくって、えー、まあいつものやり方で2人には台本を渡していないのでその場その場で僕が口伝えでセリフと状況説明をしてセリフを渡して状況説明していくってやり方でこれは全編通したんですけどあのとても勘のいい歌でした。So,、uh, the, the children, they neither had really much acting experience to begin with,、um, especially the little girl in the scene where the mom is scolding her.、Um, she didn't actually want to do that scene again the first time, around, like the second time around. So, she was like, well, why didn't we just film it the first time when I was getting scolded?、Um, <laughs> and, you know, like with a lot of my other movies,、uh, especially with, you know, dealing with children actors, I just kind of I don't give them a script, I just kind of tell them, you know, This is what you want to say, and this is what you want to do.、Um, and the kids just kind of absorbed that, and they had really good instincts, and that's why、um, it became the film that it is today. The haircut scene you start on her toes, and it, it's so natural and, and kind of so comfortable. Was that a shot you had planned, or was that something you noticed in Miyu? It's the, the scene where she's getting her haircut, the little girl, yeah, and it starts on her toes. And I was just curious how he conceived that, if it was planned or something he noticed、um, in her behavior.
たまたまたまたまやってたんで撮りました。Yeah, she just happened to be, you know, kind of on her tippy toes like this, so I just filmed it as is. You often hear、um, cast and crew members talk about filming a movie like. Like forming a family that you've chosen, and, and then it's hard when you stop filming and, and everyone departs. Do you see a parallel there to a family like this that, that has chosen each other and making a film? そうですね、茨城、まあ、キリンさん亡くなっちゃったこともあるんですけど、茨城さんの万引き家族の LINE のグループがあって、あの連絡が取り合ってますし、この間、あの7回忌の、まあ、まあ丸の国、亡くなって丸6年経ったんで、お墓参りに行きました、でえー、と次女が結婚したんで、その報告があったり。えーそういう、えーとじはい、僕に関してはじ実際の家族とやり取りするよりはそこのグループラインの方があのコメントの数が多いですね。今かわいいいや、そう、they are kind of like my family.、Um, actually, it's funny because I actually do have a group chat with the other staff of shoplifters and we're keeping in touch actually pretty often. Um, you know, for the, the memorial for her passing, we you know, visited the grave and I tell them about you know, the,、uh, the second daughter like, getting married. So it's actually、um, maybe, maybe, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but I feel like I definitely talk to them a lot more than I actually do with my physical, like real family. <laughs> Does that then mean that you're kind of like a father? Are you a paternal figure on set as a director? <laughs> so, yeah, the first dad is Lily, Frankie.、Um, so, I guess I'll be the second dad and say. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and go to some questions from the audience. I guess I, I have to choose here. Okay, this is nerve wracking. We'll go right in front. Yeah, thank you.、Um, so, how about、uh, 
so that's called a great movie. Uh, so like the family is a center concept throughout the entire like movie scenes, and there's a very like happy family that shows through the plot. Uh, what kind of like message you want to present to like Japanese society regarding people's perspective of family through the movie? Is there like particular like a missing piece you want people to carefully look at, like to increase their attention to get like a, a better like a family experience? やっぱりあの、So he wanted to portray, you know, maybe it's okay to have a family like this in the movie. You know, not everything has to be like this happy-go-lucky family that you saw, you know, in some of the other scenes. Uh, how did you conceive of the idea for shoplifters, and at what point in the creative process, like, did you <笑>最初に、え、浮かんだのは、あ、えっと、ニュースで万引き家族で万引きをしていた親子が捕まって裁判が始まったっていうすごい小さな記事を読んだんですけど、その家族がなんで逮捕されたかっていうと、釣り